Now, from your hyper-local weather source, this is your Norcast Weather Update. Brought to you by Square Theatres, with locations in Northfield, Ventnor, and Stone Harbor. Experience movie watching like never before as you recline on comfortable lounge chairs and drift into another world. Get your tickets today by visiting squaretheaters.com. Well, this afternoon in our official observation site, we made it to a high of 86 degrees, even though I know areas towards Marlton and even Trenton made it close to about 90 degrees. But at our official observation site, 86 and staying above average this morning, even at 59. Right now, we are cooling off nicely from those 80s, still holding on to 80s up in Marlton, Media, Trenton, and even Norristown at 82, Media, 84 over in Marlton. But for us down here in South Jersey, we got 74 Mays Landing, 74 Vineland, 76 Hamilton, 77 Glassboro, 70 down in Courthouse, and even down into the upper 60s closer to the shore. Now, overnight, we could see a couple of isolated showers between about 11 and 4 o'clock as a weak cold front does move through. Temperatures will generally stay in the low 60s, but in some of those more rural areas, we could make it down into the upper 50s. But I'll show you that cold front off to the west. It's a very weak cold front. I don't like how active this model does show the showers, but I do like the timing of it, so don't expect the showers to be this intense as they do move through, but do expect a weak line of some showers to move through between about 11 and 4 o'clock in the morning. But as we are waking up for your Sunday morning, I believe we are mostly dry and mostly clear. Then into Sunday afternoon, we're keeping the warmer temperatures in those mid-80s and the pretty high dew points into the low 60s. So that's just enough to initiate some afternoon showers and thunderstorms for tomorrow. But I still believe that the majority of us stay mostly dry. It's only a 20% chance of seeing showers and thunderstorms for tomorrow afternoon. Most of us will stay dry and will miss the shower activity, but you notice that continues even into tomorrow evening. But we're really watching Memorial Day for those opportunities of showers and thunderstorms. Cold front looks to move in, and that's definitely going to be the most active weather that we will see over the next seven to 10 days because after that cold front does clear through, our temperatures will start to cool off and we will stay dry for the remainder of the work week and even into next weekend. But Memorial Day is definitely something that Nick, Brittany, and I will continue to keep a close eye on and continue to bring you updates on. So I'll be back with one more update tonight before bedtime. Enjoy the rest of your evening and please get outside and enjoy this beautiful evening. Maybe light a fire and sit outside by the fire. It's perfect weather for it, but just do something and get outside this evening. I'll see you closer to bedtime.